How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. Now today I'm going to be showcasing something pretty special and hopefully pretty exciting to fellow fans of a particular yellow fuzzy tailed Lombax and his robotic companion. That's right, today I'm going to be showing off the art of Ratchet and Clank book. As well as taking a look at some other merch just off camera. Not those guys. Alrighty, I'm going to dive straight into this awesome book, tell you guys a bit of backstory about how it came to be, as well as informing you of my seemingly endless battle to get a hold of this. I'm just going to flip through some of these pages while I tell you the brief history on how this book came to be. So, first and foremost, The Art of Ratchet & Clank was meant to be released last year to coincide with Ratchet & Clank's 15th anniversary. Unfortunately, it was pushed back and delayed several times. I don't know the specifics as to why it was pushed back. I assume it had something to do with production issues, but either way, I honestly believed it was going to be something that when it eventually did come out, it'd be the kind of super duper special rare hard to find collector's item that you could only get off Amazon or some official website somewhere. I didn't think I'd be able to get myself a copy as a lot of cool stuff like this doesn't tend to come to New Zealand. But one day earlier this year I remember checking the online retailer Mighty 8 which is a New Zealand's website and they had the Art of Ratchet & Clank book up and it was only like $58 to pre-order so I thought oh heck yes! Yeah. So I pre-ordered it immediately, paid it all off and was really excited. It had a definitive New Zealand release date sometime late June. So when the day rolled around and I didn't get the book, I thought, okay, that's weird. Has it been delayed again? And I couldn't see any information about it. So I emailed the website and they said, oh, sorry, we're not able to get the uh, the book anymore because it's been removed from our suppliers. So not even they could get it. And I was gutted because it turns out that the release date was wrong for New Zealand somehow and that other countries were getting it at a later date. So Anyway, I was gutted, but I figured, oh, I'll just move on with life. So everyone's getting all their art books, and I'm seeing it on Twitter sometime in late July, and I'm like, ah, oh, this sucks. I wish I could get myself a copy. Just out of curiosity, I'll check the website again, and I looked it up, and the book had been relisted, and it said they had some in stock. So I emailed them saying, what the heck happened? I pre-ordered this ages ago. You said you couldn't get it, and then you had some in stock and didn't tell me about it. And they said, oh, yeah, whoops, sorry about that. But if you like, we can honor your original... Your original pre-order price which is i think 58 dollars even though now it's listed as 88 dollars so i saved 30 dollars and i said yes please i will take this thank you very much so several weeks after the official worldwide release date i got my hands on my own copy of the art of ratchet and clank now this may sound a bit lame but i really wanted to get my copy before vtnvv because that guy he can smash out videos faster than i can even think of them and Honestly, I figured that if he was to make one first, like make a video on the art book first, then my video would have no chance of getting views. I know it sounds lame, but hey, that was just my thought process. You confusing, generous, awesome person, you. So yeah, that basically explains the story of the book and how it was delayed constantly and how I was getting it, then I wasn't getting it, now I am getting it. Ah, I should just be thankful that I've got myself a copy because I know people like Arcade and Luminous are still waiting on their copy. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. Alright, now that the fun story time is out the way, I can give you my thoughts on the art of Ratchet and Clank. Well, let me start this off by getting my only negative out the way, and it's not even a bad thing, just a tiny little gripe I have, and that's just that the, the concept art for the, the levels and the planets don't really interest me that much. I don't know, maybe it had something to do with the fact that a lot of the games I played growing up, if they ever had unlockable concept art, it would always be, you know, like, planets and levels and that, you know, Star Wars, The Force Unleashed... Uh, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Wipeout, Uncharted, those sort of things. You might get the odd character here and there, but a lot of the time it was just planets and that, so I guess maybe I'm just, I'm just sick of it. As for everything else in the book, it is truly amazing for any fan of Ratchet and Clank. This book is awesome. It has so many fun tidbits and looks into behind the scenes and let me let me start this out just by saying that this is more than just like a generic art book like you might see in some ubisoft collectibles this is an art and history book not only does it have like intros and outros and stuff like that it'll have little notes written on the side little tidbits little humorous jabs at like like inside jokes and things like my favorite one has to be the the angela the character from ratchet and clank 2 like is she a lombax is she not they i they acknowledge the facts <laughs> Not even they know, and they sorry for it. I also really like the one about old uh, Tachyon being a fan of pets, even though we never saw that in the game. Truly, this has so many cool little tidbits and many Easter eggs and just stuff like that. It's awesome. The artwork is beautiful. The weapons, the characters, and heck, even some of the level design uh, concept art is really fun to look at as well. Now, of course, it doesn't have every character sketch and every weapon design from every game sort of thing, but there's enough variety in here to just bring out all the nostalgic excitement within me. Like, 
I don't play through every Ratchet and Clank game every year, obviously. So there are quite a few that I haven't played in, I don't know, three or four years. So when I see them in here, like weapons from certain games I forgot about. It's like, it's really exciting. It's really cool. Oh, one other thing to note that I thought, it's a little disappointing, but I get why they did it, is that they, they flat out say, mention that there are 11 Ratchet and Clank games. Like, completely disregarding the, is it High Impact games? Yeah, the like the PSP... PS2, Size Matters, Secret Agent Clank games, like, I get they weren't developed by Insomniac, but they're still a part of the legacy, they're still a part of it, but I guess this book was made, you know, with Insomniac games in mind, and they had a lot to do with it, so I, I, I understand why they wouldn't include it, but it does just seem a bit on the nose when they say, hey, hey, the 11 games in the series, when, yeah, they're there's more than 11. I just want to close this out by showing my favorite piece of Ratchet and Clank concept art ever. This has been my favorite since I saw it when the PS3 was announced and Tools of Destruction was coming out. This was my wallpaper for ages and even now it's still saved on my phone. And it's a two-page spread in this book which is amazing. The foreword by Ted Price and afterward by Chad Desern are really nice as well. Just cool finishing touches on what otherwise could have been a really bland book. Like this is just a personal thing but when they showed off the cover to the art of Ratchet and Clank. Like, this, I thought, was bland. Like, the the art of Ratchet and Clank, one of the most bombastic and fantastic characters ever, and this is your art book? Obviously, you're looking at, like, a, a tiny little thumbnail image on, on the laptop somewhere, like, oh, hey, look, this is what the cover looks like. So it's nothing, like, you get it, the cover's all glossy, it's nice, and it's simple. It's not boring, it's simple, but when I saw this cover, I honestly thought that it was going to be like a budget operation. But this book is certainly not a budget operation. There are nearly 250 pages in here just full of amazing art and facts and history that are perfect for any Ratchet & Clank fans collection. Alright folks, that brings us to the end of our showcase of the art of Ratchet & Clank. Available in a store near you. <laughs> Unlike the movie. Actually, speaking of the movie, yeah, first of all, if you're yet to decide whether this is worth your time or not, or whether you want to invest in buying the book yourself, let me put it this way. You all know that I'm a huge fan of Ratchet and Clank, right? While I really enjoy the movie, not as a guilty pleasure, but as a genuinely fun, like, animated movie, I have to admit that when I watched it, I didn't feel like it was this, this grand triumphant victory from my childhood, or like the return of something that I'd, you know, always wanted when I was a kid, and that. It just, it was just kind of like, okay, cool, there's, there's a movie now, and it's kind of fun. Now, I'm not ashamed to admit, a little embarrassed maybe, but not ashamed to admit that I teared up a bit at this. When I'm opening it up, I'm reading through it, I'm seeing all these things that remind me so much of, like, when I was a child playing the games and that. You know, I had that lump in my throat, I'm like, oh my gosh, this exists, this really is, like, a history and art of Ratchet and Clank, something I've grown up with, something that I love. And it made me feel happy. There's not a lot of things these days that make you feel, you know, like a kid again. I'm not talking like basic nostalgia, like, oh hey look, Ninja Turtles are on the TV. No, I mean like proper giddy with excitement, like you've just opened your favourite presents on a Christmas morning or something like that. Well, when I started to read this, I got that feeling again, like, this is really cool, this is something that I've wanted for ages. And I finally had a hold of it, and it was better than I could have possibly imagined. Now, only you can tell if this is something you'd be interested in buying, but all I can say is that it is great value for money, and it's just, it's really, really good. Now, I've seen other art books that just don't interest me, or just aren't as good. And a lot of them are overpriced, like that Naughty Dog one, again, it's over $200 in New Zealand. I got this for $57! I think the base retail is about $82, but I got it cheaper for pre-ordering, anyway. I highly recommend any diehard Ratchet & Clank fan add this book to your collection, it is definitely worth it. Now, as I said earlier, and in the video title, I bought a couple more little Ratchet & Clank merch sort of bits that were going on sale you know, to kind of fill in that void that was left by the art book when I thought it was cancelled. So firstly, we've got these two little plushies. They're a Ratchet and Clank Stubborn. I don't know really what a stubborn is, but they appear to be cuter, chibi versions of pre-established characters, which I'm not not really die-hard keen on, like, chibi versions of things, but I guess they can go with my other creepy Ratchet and Clank plushes that I've got. And finally, I've got this cool Ratchet Pixel Pal. Now, I know Pixel Pals are, you know, going out of stock at the moment, so they're dirt cheap. So I bought this one, and I knew that you could put a AA battery in it and, like, make it glow in the dark sort of thing, but I didn't realise how actually cool it looks in the dark. Like, I thought it would just, I don't know, glow a little bit. But no, you can almost use this as, like, a giant torch lamp. It's really cool. Also, a super shout out to anyone who's here from my tweet that Insomniac Games retweeted. I've never had a, a tweet get more than, I don't know, five likes, so to have something retweeted by a major games company and then have my phone constantly going off for the rest of the week 
it was, I don't know, it was, it was an experience. So, uh, thank you guys very much for that. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I've got a couple of neat video ideas stewing around in my head. I've been doing a bit of research on them. So I'm thinking about bringing out a new show soon. So if you want to subscribe and check that out, feel free. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. I'm a bit short on gaming t-shirts, so I had to settle with the Elder Scrolls. I hope that's all right. All right, click here to check out another video that will be predetermined at a later date. And click there to subscribe. I don't know how to do end cards. I'm still learning, so click whatever's on the screen now. Thanks for watching, guys.